Hello, welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. And we have a question from uh, Circular Motion that we're going to solve together this time around. So the question is there on the screen. And then from this question, what we see is that we have been given some factors uh, which we can take as our data. So we've been given angular acceleration. Angular acceleration 0 0.06 right per square second. Then we have initial time. Zero second. We have also what we can refer to as final time, eight seconds. Then we have our radius R, 2.5 meters. Apart from that, what we have, we've been told that this carousel is uh, initially at rest, meaning the initial angular velocity is zero. Zero right per second. So we can calculate the angular velocity of the cell. And we know that uh, we have this equation of motion, angular acceleration, final angular velocity minus initial, final time, initial. So, we are going to have and final angular velocity being equal to initial angular velocity plus angular acceleration multiplying by time or change in time. So we put in the values of which this zero per second, right per second plus 0 0.06, right per square second. I'm changing time, basically eight minus zero, which is just eight. So our final angular velocity in this case is going to be, Zero point four eight rad per second. So that would be the final angular velocity or the angular velocity. So we go to B and B we are asked to calculate the linear velocity of a gear. So the relationship between linear velocity and angular velocity is given by linear velocity radius times angular velocity. So we've been given radius in the equation and then we have found the angular velocity. So we have 2.5 meters multiplying by 0 0.48. right per second. And then our linear velocity is going to be two point, sorry, 1.2 meter per second. So that will be our, our B, question B. And that was A. So we get to to question C. So we can 
add here what we found. in order to create some space. Okay, so C, we are asked to find the tangential or linear acceleration. Again, we know the, the relationship as well. Uh, this should be C the relationship between tangential acceleration and linear and uh, uh, angular acceleration, of which is given by radius multiplying by angular acceleration, we get uh, the tangential acceleration. So we, we plug in the values as well for radius and uh, say uh, the angular acceleration. So our Linear acceleration is going to be 2.5 meter multiplying by 0 0.06 rad per square second. So what we are going to have here now is going to be 0 0.15. 0 0.15 meter per square second as our tension tangential or linear acceleration. And then we get to find the centripetal acceleration of the gear that is our D. Centripetal acceleration of the gear. We know that the centripetal acceleration this is the acceleration towards the center, directed towards the center. And it's given by v squared of r. So we calculated our linear velocity, which we found to be 1.2. And we know our radius. So the, the radius, this gear is located uh, 2.5 meters uh, from the center. So we have uh, 1.2 meter per second. We square divided by 2.5 meters. So what we are going to have is the centripetal acceleration. It's going to be so. This gives us 1.44 meter per Square second over 2.5. So we have 0 0.576 meter per square second as our centripetal acceleration of the gear. So now we we are taught to find the total linear acceleration. So we know that the the, the direction of um, the centripetal acceleration and the tangential acceleration are the centripetal acceleration is towards the center. And then the tangential acceleration is tangent to the circular path that uh, uh, this gear is taking. So we have, for us to find the total acceleration, For us to find the total acceleration, total, we're going to have centripetal acceleration times ten plus tangential acceleration, both squared and also square rooted. So this is how you, we're going to have, because we have the 
centripetal acceleration towards the center, and then the tangential acceleration that is tangent. So they make some sort of 90 degrees uh, because this uh, tangential acceleration is always tangent to the circular path taken. So we are going to have our centripetal acceleration, what do we find? We found 0 0.576 squared plus uh, our ten tangential acceleration 0 0.15 squared. So what we're going to have here now is 0 0.35 or two seven six of which we are going to have uh, zero point five nine five meter square second and that is going to be our total acceleration linear acceleration Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more of these videos.